I'm so this fiance and hope Richard rips his heart out. And my brother, I guess, has a secret to tell me. I'm just, uh, I'm just worried that, you know, I think bad things. I hate my brother. I don't know my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, just voted the worst show in the history of television. Now in its 12th season, here's our host, Sherry Springer. say they have outrageous sex scandals that will infuriate their loved ones. Please meet Rob. He says he doesn't care if his secret tears his brother's heart out. Rob, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I'm here to tell my brother I've been sleeping with his fiance for the last month and a half. Yeah! Why? Why? Well, first, Jerry's for revenge, but now I love Janet deeply. He's, uh, he's been a little punk to my life. He's messed my life up. He's led me to battles. He needed help in battles, and he... Watched, stood by while I got beat down and thought it was funny. He stole ex-girlfriends from me. He flirted with my wife when I was married to her. Mm. And today, I hope I break his heart, Jerry. Uh -oh. I want to tear his heart out of chest, and I don't care. I hate him. Now, how, how long have you been sleeping with his fiance? About a month and a half now, Jerry. How long have they been engaged? About six months. Oh, been, I guess they've been engaged about three months, but it goes six. Okay, so right after they got engaged, you started sleeping yes, with her. Yes, sir. But they're still engaged, right? Yes, they are, Jerry. So I guess they're still going to get married. I don't know about that, Jerry. Oh, you I, want to, I want to marry her, I Jerry. see. So you're here to try to take yeah, her away. I want to marry her, You Jerry. want to marry her. How yes, do you Jerry. know that you love her? You've, you've slept with her a month and a half. I just love the sex. The sex is good. Um, well, good yeah. Stuff. I've heard it is. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you, you necessarily love her. I love her, Jerry. Oh, you do I love do her. love her. It comes from my heart. She's the girl that in my dreams. I've always wanted to be with her. Some girl like that. She's perfect for me. She, my brother don't need somebody like that. He mistreats her. He's okay. never there, at home with her. Does he have any idea you're sleeping with no, him? No, he does not, Jerry. Oh, okay. Well, let's bring him out. You're about to tell him. Here he is, Steve. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, so, you brothers, but you don't know why you're here. Uh, well, he's supposed to have a secret to tell me. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Steve, I hate you, man. I've hated you ever <laughs> since. We're kids, man. You've, you, you've brought me into battles, man. you brought me into battles. You've, you've hurt me, man. You've took my girlfriends from me. You've, you, you used to flirt with my wife. I'm here to tell you I've been sleeping with Janet for the last month and a half, man. So what, and I had to tear your heart out of your chest, brother. But Robbie, you're my only brother, man. Dad left mom around. You know what it was like for mom? I, I love care. Janet. I'm going to marry you. Janet. I hate no, you. I hate her. I hate you. How could you do that to me? That he was angry with you? No, my only brother. We fight a lot, yeah. but I would never expect this on my own brother. Have you ever slept with one of his girlfriends? He's not with me, Jerry. He's that was when we were young, Robbie. He I was, I was 15 wife. years old. I was wife. a little kid. No, you're still a little kid. You're still a little you kid. You gotta throw everything on my face when I was a kid. You miss you. I'm trying to marry this girl. You're not gonna marry I'm gonna her. Be the father I'm of gonna be her no baby. here. I'm gonna be the father of her babies. Yeah. Bring him.
take a break now. When we come back, we're going to meet her, find out what she has to say about this. We'll be right back. Why would I marry you? Why did you do you, that? Jen. You grabbed the producer's yes. ass just yesterday. I love you. No, Steve. <laughs> yes, I do. You love me. You went yes. Where's the producer? You, I love you. You love me. You went and did oh, this to listen. me. I love you. You went and did this Welcome back. If you just joined us, there are two, two brothers here, Rob and Steve, that are uh, really awfully angry at each other. Uh, Rob is the older brother, and he comes on the show to tell his younger brother, Steve, that he's sleeping with his fiance, with Steve's fiance. Steve is obviously upset about that. You said, you know, you guys had that competition when you were younger, but in recent years, you thought you were all getting along. Well, sure, Jerry. He's my sure. only brother. My sure. dad left us when we were little. Yeah. I've always looked up to you, Robbie. You looked always. up to me, man. He, he, you never he looked up to me. Mom. He was going to take care well, of us. I've always been treated like crap to you, man. Treat me. You and your dad never treated me like crap, man. You led me to battles. I got beat down. You said laugh about it. That was funny, didn't you? Robbie, that was one when we were kids. That's what we were kids. You thought it was funny. You thought we were kids, You tried to scream my damn wife. I'm married to him. No, I wasn't. You always tried to scream my wife. No, I wasn't. Yes, you was. No, you're a liar, Robbie. You're a liar. I'm trying to marry this girl. You know, I loved her. You know that I loved her? How the fuck get your heart ripped out of your chest, huh? Let's bring her out. Here's Janet. She's coming home with me, man. She be my wife. Robbie. You have no business with her. You're my only brother. I ain't your brother. Well, you We're not nobody. You ain't no, no family to me. My family's right here. Well, you won't try to tell her about me and you have. I'm going to marry family. you, Janet. She ain't going to be marrying you. You degrade me in front of people. Why would I marry you? Why I would you do you, that? I love you, Janet. You grabbed the producer's ass yes. just yesterday. I love you. No, Steve. <laughs> yes, I do. You love me. You went and yes. did Where's the producer? You, I love you. You love me. You went and did oh, this to listen. me. I love you. You went and did this Bill, when your little baby calls me daddy, get off of her! I go to the park with your baby. Uh, you don't know how good it makes me feel. All I want to do is be part of your family. That's all I want us to be as a family. You, you're out. Get off you're, you're out, bitch. I'm gonna show you out, boy. You, you are. I paid for everything for him. Get He's out of here now. Stevie only calls you daddy because you me. I've said a lot of things when I'm mad at you. It's all out of temper, and you know that. Well, you I never was a bad you. Well, I'm saying I'm sorry. I've always tried to make good you. And the next day is the same thing. How long do you want me to put up with the? I mean to have a temper, Janet, but I do love you. Robbie never yeah. treats me this way. I love you. I want us to be a family. We're going to be a family. Steve, no. And we're, we're going not to be a family, be Janet. No, Steve, we're not. You don't treat How me this way. How could you do this way? to me anyway? I am How could you? This. I mean, how, I wanted to be a family. Out there screwing around my brother. He's the only family I got. We're all He's lost. He screwed things up with my only brother. You know our relationship wasn't good. I was trying to help him. And I asked you for your help to help get the relationship. And this is how you help. This is supposed to bring me closer to my brother. Steve, what about me? What about me? It's always about you. No, what about yeah. me, Steve? I, I, what are you going to think about me? That's all I want to think about is you. All you want to do is go around grabbing people's ass, rubbing baby. their legs, coming on women to. in front of me. Why in did front you of me. Why say yes when he asked you to marry uh, him a month and a half ago? Why did you say yes? Because whenever he's nice, he's really he nice. Me, and then it makes things better for the moment, but then it's, it goes out of control. He wants to. 
to grade me. I take off work because I, he thinks I don't spend enough time with him. And then I have to take my kid to his dad's house because he's jealous of the time I spend with my kid. And he wants to come on here and say how great he is with my kid. He's not that great I, with my kid. I can't lie. I am jealous of your baby's father because I want to be his daddy. You told me I could be. We were a family. And even my brother, we was all going to be a family. We can be. But he's out. You're no more. Yeah. You're out on your own You're body. He's mine, man. No. He's mine, yes, man. It is. No. Uh, yes. Yeah, I can't put up with He calls me daddy. He calls me daddy. And daddy? Makes me feel very good. He doesn't think of you as daddy. <laughs> you do not understand He's how much. He's the kid. You can't be no daddy, daddy nobody. Have... He's four years old, Steve. I, I was a mad that day. You never have the house. Fine. You don't talk to him unless I you're getting on to him. I'm on the bike. I play Nintendo. Go to parks. I play with friends. I don't know what world you're living in, but you don't do any of that. Yes, you, I no, do. You, don't. you know I do. No, you don't. You know that I do. No, you, you know don't, things are good Steve. with us. No. Yes, you do, no, Janet. You, no. You know things are good with man. us. No. Yes, she wants to be with you, man. Get the off Yes, she does want to be with I, you. I, you know, buddy, you're out man. on the street now, bitch. You're, yeah. you're out on the street. I've always been on the street. You've never been there for me in the first place. No, he's, out, he's out on the street now. You've never he's been there for me. Get off of Yes. No. I never felt any better than when I was with you. Let me ask a question. Uh, do you love uh, Steve here? I love Robbie. Excuse me, I got the names wrong. You, Robbie, you love, you do love Robbie. Yes, no, I she do. Doesn't, Jerry. Yes, no, I she do, doesn't. Steve. She said, she said, I'm I not you, staying Janet. around for you. To I'm not. But I love you. No. I will not. To feel bad about myself, so I feel like I no, have to stay with no, you. No, you're never gonna feel bad about yourself. No, Steve. I love you. No. You don't. Leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. I, I want to marry you. No, you don't want to marry me. Yes, I do. You want to control me. I'm young, but I am ready to settle down with you. I am ready to you be a daddy. You want to control you me. You know that I'm a good no, father. No, I am a person. Janet, I'm not to be controlled. I know you are. I love you. I'm not going to you control you. You don't love me. Anything I've done you in the past. You love me. You I wouldn't. forgave everything you've done. If you love me, you wouldn't you in. degrade I me. I paid for your apartment. I paid for your baby's diapers, clothes, everything. Your car, gas money. Please respect me. I love you. Oh, me, don't man. do this. Uh, and I know this is liar. You, there's no way. No way. I, I can't love respect you. you anymore, Steve. What she, what she seems to be saying is that she loves your brother. Right. Is that, she is don't that love true? Him. Do yeah, you love him? Or is it's just nothing but lust. No. It's nothing but lust, Jerry. We've Mary been through Robbie, everything together. Robbie listens to me. He knows how I feel. He understands how I feel. He asks me. He takes care of me. He wants to make sure that I'm eating you, and... Okay, but why are you sleeping with him while you're still engaged to him? Why did because you Because I was scared. Off? Because he... Time, and it scares me. That's why I wait till we got here okay. to make sure he didn't hurt me. You don't have to lie, Jan. I love you. I love you, Jan. Get out of her life, and I want you on my face right now. I, I love you, Jan. Uh, there's nothing I can do. What, what can I do? You want me to what, massage your feet right now? I Steve, love you. Steve, you should have thought about all the stuff you could do. I don't do it. This. Why do you have to Janet. let it go so far before you want to change? Why, why do you got to do this? Why the hell do you got to do this? Because huh? you are like You're this. You're screwing up what we had. It was face, what man. Have? You split exactly. up the Tell me what we had. When Tell my mother me. said, You're a no good tramp, I told her to go. I only had my mother and my brother, and I told her you to got go. No brother. I, I had her own business you. because I chose you over my own mother. Now, when I go home, I can't even talk to my mom. But we're going to be together, Jay. No, we're not. Yes, See, we are. No, I love you. I'm tired you can't of this. do this to me. I need better for You cannot for my kids. do this. More I to come. Misty. Thank you, are. Who do you think you are? Me, not you. You are the fire. You are my soul. You low down, dirty bastard. I've always been on the streets. You've never been there for me. Locked you up in jail. You come, 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 come help me out in jail. You came to me with nothing. 
Steve, no, it's never no, helped it's me. Over. I love you, Jenny. No, it's over. Just no, stop. No, it's not over. It's Just over. Stop. It is not over. No, it's, it's over. over, boy. I love you. Steve, it's over. Get away from me. No. Jane, don't do this. No. Don't do it's this, Jenny. Steve, stop it. Don't do this. No, you need to stop it. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Steve, no. no. Don't do this. <laughs> no, don't do this to me, Jenny. I love you. We're going to be a family. I'm going to marry you. Everything's going to be fine, OK? No, I it's forgive not. you. I'll forgive you. Forgive I'm not what? forgiving him. What did I do? No, no. I didn't hit you. What'd you do? I didn't You're going you around sleeping with my brother. Why am I supposed <laughs> to be calm about it? You need to respect me. You should have started respecting me a long time ago. I do respect you, Janet. No, we shouldn't have gotten I'm not this perfect. Far. I'm not a perfect human being. You don't try even to be. I love you, Janet. <laughs> Janet, I love you. No, We've you had don't. Our mistakes. I love you. No, Steve, this is it. My Dad, child do deserves this. so much better. Your baby runs to me and says, Daddy. And he hugs me just like this. And he loves me. And that makes me feel very good, Janet. I don't want you to hit me. He might be poor, but he's not stupid. Janet, I love Ain't you. Ain't gonna be no more hurt no, no He does not know you love him. Anything? What are you gonna do? You're still Raise him up somewhere. like I did without a father? Father, I know what it's father. like. This is what you get, me and my brother. We when you don't brothers. have a father. We ain't brother. We're far from being family. Oh, yeah, we are. We're you ain't nothing but little down dirty scummy son of a bitch. You you must... yeah. He's a better person than you can ever think about being. That's right, oh, boy. He is. Yes, yeah, he you is. You know that's not true. Yes, he is. No, he cares about other people besides himself, Steve. You I can't care say about that. You. you know that I care about no, you. No, I don't. What's got in you, Janet? What the hell? You screw up what we got, but then you got to go screw up with what me and my brother had. For what? Even so if I was it wasn't much. myself and not you. So I'm nothing now, huh? Nobody I needed now. someone. I love you. I needed someone I could you talk to. You have somebody to. right here. You no, have a good you man would not listen that will work for you day in and day out. You would not listen Massage to me. your feet, lick you up and down. I am your man. No, Steve. Yes, I will fight for you. you ain't I'll no stick up for you. I love you. No, you don't love I'll me, Steve. You ain't no man. You're not a man. You're yeah. a female. I want to no, go back to hell where you go down with her. Watch the mirrors. Don't Janet. do this. No. That's it. Janet, Steve, I'm not no. I'm loving you back. I mean, I understand your passion, that you obviously love her. But I do she's love not, her, Jerry. I know, but if she's not loving you back, you can't force someone to love you. She I, loves me, Jerry. She just... She don't, don't love you. Steve, I don't, she don't love, love you. She's a dirty scumbag right she's here. She's love you. You're a home wrecker right here. My, my blood. You. This woman, your blood does. You, I was marrying blood. this woman. He knew the feelings that I had for her. He don't want her. He just wants to screw up with what we have. And that's all it is. I know what it is, you dirty son of a bitch. What's going what does it say to you when I have to bring you here to tell you that I don't want to be with you? You don't have to bring me here. I love you. You know you that. You scared me. I can tell I you that at home. I love you. But you're out. You're, you're nothing but scum. That's all you'll ever be. I'm, that's all you'll ever be. Nothing but trash. Low down, dirty trash. You're no good. I'm going to show you some trash. Dave, you think you're the best of everything. He ain't no, nobody. You're not. No, I'm not. And you ain't All nobody. I'm try to be good to you. That's you're, it. Just good to you, Janet. I don't want that type of good. If That's the what, degrading is, is what I get for being someone being good to me, I don't want that I type of hate, good. I said hateful things to you. That's Most almost times all I you say. Drunk, and I just get I me. Mean, sometimes I can't you're sleep. You're always drunk. Yeah, I, I always apologize. I should have I've to never, pay for that. I can't sleep at night thinking that you're mad at me. You shouldn't I love you. You shouldn't be able to sleep at night. I, I, Not I, I don't. what you do to me, you shouldn't. You're always drunk, man. I can make everything perfect. Okay, here's, here's what I see happening, okay? And I'm not saying it's always going to be like that, but I think she's being very clear that right now she doesn't want to be with you. That's right. And, and, and because of your passion, which is very honest, I mean, it is honest, but the fact is it scares her. And that scares her. And that's why she calls the show, because she thinks at least here she's protected. You kind of got to get control of that. I've gave her more if love she, than anybody. If you're right, if you're right, and she uh, does really love you, then after a while, she'll come to you. But right now, she's scared to death. And it, it, it is scary. You're a big, you tough to guy, me. and she's afraid. I don't want you to be scared of me. That's one. She that's the last want, thing I want. She doesn't want to be with you right now. This may be a separate situation, and I'm not even sure right now. No, he's dirty scum, Jerry. Well, well, I, no, no, I'm not making not. I'm not making judgment about any of that. But right now, she's got two brothers fighting over her, and that's a scary situation for no more, either of you to put her through. So right now, you really all got to take Man. a time out and give her a little space. If you love her, you'll give her space. I'll give her space, Jerry. And you might have I love to do her. Right I'll give you what you want. The last thing I want is.
You know Matt, your best friend? I've been sleeping with him for the past five months because he dresses up like a clown for me and he understands what I like. Here's Matt. Welcome back. My guests today are angry women. Please welcome Marie to the show. She says her fiance's ex won't let him go. Marie, what's going on? Well, she shows up at his house and she spent the night in her car at, in front of his house oh. waiting for him to come out. And me and him's engaged. I love him. He loves me. How long have you been together? We've been together for almost a year. What does he say about her? He says she's fat and ugly and he does not want her. He wants me. He wants to marry me. He wants me to have his kid. Okay, good. Uh, so you're just here, bas you're just here basically to tell this woman that it's over, that she should stay out of your relationship. Yes. All right. I'll let you talk to her. Here's Misty. that you were kind of parked out in front of the house for the no, whole month? No, it's not. Oh, it's not true. I love somebody. Why would I treat them that way? Why would I follow somebody around like that in my life? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> why does he call me if he loves you so much? He is calling you, right? Yes. Why does he call me? Why when does he call you? All the time. I mean, when, you're not, when you're not around, you know, he, he's at work. He doesn't have to be with you to Well, here he is. Here's Paul. What's what's going on here? Uh, she just won't let, she keeps harassing me all the time. She follows me everywhere I go. You follow me to the doctor. You park out in front of my you house. The <laughs> boy. Uh, you're a liar, I swear. You follow me around everywhere I go. I can't go to my friend's house. I can't go I'll anywhere. Me around constantly. I don't follow you around nowhere. Whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah, you're whatever. Not, man. You're stupid, too. You're a dumbass bitch. Yeah, look at you. You don't look much better. Yeah, look at you, you tank ass. Ha! Huh. Boy, don't you look like Barney sitting there? You got a lot of nerve, you know that? You got a lot yeah, of nerve. So do you. Whatever, you dumb psycho bitch. Well, look at you! What about me? What's the matter? You just jealous, ain't you? No, well, I don't. What do I got to be jealous of? Look at her. She's nasty. She's a lot prettier than what you are. Oh, boy. Look at your tank ass. Well, you know how many things. Try some GD Craig, bitch. I Try some GD Craig. I know that bitch Try for some six years. I've known her for six years. I know my more than you'll ever know. Whatever. Whatever. More than you'll ever know. Whatever. If he's saying, if he's saying. Mm, why does he got to act like that, though? <laughs> if, he's like, if he loves her, he don't need to be calling me. He don't need to be. He don't need to be calling me if he loves her. I 
don't call you anyhow. I ain't called you for I'm I ain't called you for a year, I love him very much. He took my damn virginity. Oh. Whatever. 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 You know you ain't nothing but a hoe. Lay down this being mean to her. I mean, if you don't because love her. she constantly harasses me all the time, Jerry. She if won't she, leave me okay. alone or anything. If he's saying, if he's saying. I love him, Jerry. He's the first boy I ever loved. I know, but that, we all go through it. I mean, oh, it's true. Man. We all go through it. We all get dumped by someone we love. If he is saying that he really, you know, that he loves her now, you're just going to keep hurting yourself by pursuing it. That's going to keep hurting. Why not I mean, find some... Are you calling her? I don't bother you anyhow. You know that. He I never that called mom. you. Oh, Since I mom. broke up with you, I never called you. I never got, uh, got a hold of you. Never wrote you or anything. You know better than that. So no. Why you got to keep saying that? Why do you want to act like this for? Because I don't love you anymore, so it's it. Quit bothering me. Quit following me quit around following all over me. the place. I'm not calling you to begin with. Yes, you are. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, day. <Dave>. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I don't call you to begin with. You think I want something to, you, you think I actually want something to do with you? No, not quite. Well, you want something to, uh, Paul, I know more about her than you'll ever know. So? I've known her for six years. Why I don't would care you if you've known her for 12. And why would you want to sleep with her, though? Because that's my fiance. Well, there's a reason. Take it for what it's worth. Like it or lump it. That's all I can tell you. It's probably time to move on. I mean, because I can just see that you're hurting, and it, it looks like he, it, he, he's not going to change his and mind. And he needs to leave me alone. Okay, so, all right. Him. So you're not going to you're not going to call her any. You're I never called her to begin with, anyhow, Jerry. It's fine. Just tell her you won't be calling. Her. I won't be calling you. Yeah, you can rest assured of that. I won't no, be calling you. you. Period. Have you been leading her on at all? And I was like, have you been going back and sleeping with her? No, I haven't. You have not slept with her since you nope. broke up. No, I have he not has slept not with her since I broke up. All the time but he called me. Okay. I was being. He was to be with me. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Well, he's not going to do it anymore. You're not going to do it anymore. And you do love her. Yes, I do love her. Talk to her. I love you, Marie. You know, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. That's why we're engaged right now. We're getting ready to get married soon. So, accept it, Mystic. Okay. Take it for what it's worth. Can you find somebody new? I mean, there's yeah, some. I can. There you go. How about Todd? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. Welcome back, and uh, we got, uh, you know, I tell you what, uh, Steve, um, how are things going? Stand up, Stand up, wave at the crowd. Okay, that's Steve a few years ago. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, okay, and what is your name? That's Roger. Roger, nice to see you. Okay, thanks for being here. All right. He's going to be Steve for a day, and he will take care of any security problems we have. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. My guests today have shocking sex secrets. This is right up Steve's alley. Please, <laughs> please meet Meg. She says her boyfriend won't find her sex secret amusing. Meg, what is going on? Well, basically, Jerry, I have a clown sex fetish. I'm sexually attracted to clowns. A clown... Yes. A clown sex fetish. Clowns. It's not that weird. Everyone has sexual fetishes. Mine just has this clown. So you fantasize about having sex with a clown? Yes. Yes. I've been, when I was a little kid. I can be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got the big nose, but anyway. Uh, go ahead. 
Well, when I was a kid, I always collected clown figurines, and I just like clowns. What did you do with them? I, mean, <laughs> I just had them. I mean, I like clowns. I got a clown tattooed on my arm. I go to the circus, and I see the clowns. All I want to do is screw them. I love clowns, man. That's all I want. I've always liked clowns. You know, it really isn't that weird. It really isn't. No. When you're having sex, do you ever yell out, bozo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, I don't know. So, okay, so why are you here? Someone? I'm here to tell um, my boyfriend, Andy, about my secret. Oh, he doesn't know you like that. He doesn't know, and I've been sleeping with his best friend, Matt, for the past five months because he dressed like a clown for me. He understands my fetish. So you can be like with a regular guy, and you ask him, as long as he puts on a clown's outfit, then you can get into it. Any guy, any guy, as long as they put on any a clown. Any guy? Any guy. <laughs> That's all you... Yeah. That's all you gotta do? Yep. <laughs> Boy, that's... I'll tell you what, buying a clown outfit is cheaper than flying to Vegas, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, here's your boyfriend, Andy. How you doing? Hi, Jay. Uh, how long have you guys been together? Uh, about two years, a little more than two years. Did you ever ask her why she wears this tattoo? Um, no, she's always had it since I met her. Did you ask her what it was about? Um, no, I just took it for face value. I know she likes clowns. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I was just wondering because I've been kind Okay, what do you want to say to him? You don't know why you're here. Fine, okay. I have a clown fetish, and I'm going to tell you straight out that I'm sexually attracted to clowns. And you think it's weird, and you think it's sick, and that's why I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't want to deal with this judgment of character from you because, you know, I think that this is natural. I, I've, you know, I've read about it in books, too. I mean, other people have this, and you're just closed-minded, and I don't think you understand me. You and can't, you're not serious. Yes, Andy! <laughs> He's Andy. not just clowning around, I'll tell you that. No. I'm All serious, right, Andy. <laughs> this is not, it's not a joke. It's not a joke how I feel. It's, you know, I mean, you don't take me so seriously. So what, what, what does that entail? So, entail? That's, that's sick. Clown, no, it's not sick. People need to dress up in clown outfits. And you know, Matt, your best friend? I've been sleeping with him for the past five months because he dresses up like a clown for me, and he understands what I like. Here's Matt. Please, her. Sit she doesn't like you. Anymore. You don't know what the I've hell been with you for two you. years. Son of a bitch, sit down. I've always treated you right. I've you been... look like this. You I'm... look like this. No, I don't How see you. How long you been with her and you can't even me. please her after two years? What look are you treating her more one night than you have that entire time? I don't want that. I don't want that. do with anything. That's just. You don't take her seriously. Look at him. I do. He takes me seriously. I know what she wants. He knows what I want. We have a common bond. We like. Andy, you're just clueless. You don't know how to please a woman, okay? This is how you do it. Are you? Is this relationship over? I guess. Yeah, it's over. I don't want to be with him anymore. You know, I don't really want to have anything to do with him because he doesn't understand that this is what I want. Would you be want. willing to be dressing like a clown if he that's what turned... Look at him. He wouldn't. He's weeb. Look at... <laughs> what a bitch, man. Are you no, done with it? No, I want nothing to do with it. You want nothing to do with this? I want nothing that's to fine. do with it. That's it. That's we'll be back. <laughs> Hi. 
I have a question for the gentleman in the clown suit. Um, it's not really a question. Um, thank God you have all that makeup on so your mom will recognize you on TV and see what a bad job she did. Oh, sit up! Um, he looks like a yeah. you suck, you suck. <laughs> To the guy in the purple, you really need to take your clown-loving girlfriend and buy her a cheeseburger at McDonald's. It might turn her on. <laughs> what are you, commercial or something? Don't take that. This is for the girl with the clown. Do they have food where you live? Because you look like a crack whore. over here uh, before you talk about her being a tank you should look at yourself in the mirror get some teeth and then talk about someone <laughs> We won't miss you. Oh, you're really a clown? I'm a clown. I, you're perfect. And you, what are the odds? <laughs> was there, was there like a notice on the bulletin board? Come to the. I got the memo. I got the memo. Okay, well, it, good for you. But you, you, you really are a clown. Do you enjoy it? Oh yeah. Well, I didn't until today, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, good for you. Good for you. Uh, there you go. Well, let's talk to this clown. Oh hi. This is for the clown. <laughs> If things don't work out, maybe we have someone down here at the end who will be interested. I just wanted to say cool shoes and cool plugs, man. Cool shoes, cool plugs. All right. <laughs> okay, this is for the guy with no shirt on. It's no big loss because any whore that can go and sleep with your Are brother you is pathetic. Yeah! I love her though. You're the whore. to the girl at the back in the red. There is nothing wrong with having a tank ass because I've got one and who gives a there's plenty more people in fish in the sea. You go and get some. Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being with us, and uh, I hope things work out for you. I really do. Good luck to you. You know, anyone messing with your loved one is bound to draw your ire, your unbridled anger. Indeed, we can well understand the sentiment of our guests today in telling these intruders to their love lives to back off. It's like stealing, or rather watching someone steal something from you that you really care about. Of course it hurts, and you can easily hate someone who does that. And yet, though it may temporarily make you feel better to vent your anger at this third party who's trying to take your lover away, the truth is, as hard as it is to admit, none of this would be a problem if your loved one would simply tell you or tell the other guy or girl to get lost. 
If your partner really loves you, he or she wouldn't let this happen. You see, it's hard to face, but the fact is nobody gets stolen away from you who doesn't want to be. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. You know, and I'm sure I normally don't feel bad for people, you know, but I feel bad for you because you seem like such a nice girl, and that guy was really bad to you. And you don't need that guy, all right? I mean, you're you're a nice girl, and you're a good-looking girl, and you're gonna meet somebody, you know. What about you, Steve? Well, I'm kind of busy right now, but how about future Steve? Okay. You guys, maybe go out for dinner or something, huh? We can get together. Nice. Now that's a nice guy for you. All right. Yeah, what do you want to do this evening? Mm -hmm. Like some too. Mm hmm Any preference? Maybe. maybe. Oh. Sounds good to me. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.